few, uh, few issues with the cops parking. We had a little visit from the police because we were parked in no stopping zones. Stupidly, our fault. But uh, they were good blokes, it's all sorted. And now we've got a uh, bit of a crowd going on. <laughs> we're going to be making a salsa verde. It's very um, traditional Italian. It's a super, super simple recipe, but uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. You know what, some of the best things in life are simple, and this is an example of one of them. So you've got your, your herbs, you know, you've got your basil, your mint, and your parsley, you know, it's all chopped up, all mixed together. Um, it's, it's almost like a pesto, but without the parmesan cheese and a few extra bits in it. Our first step is garlic clove. So we're going to microplant it into the bowl. One echelot. You want to slice it as fine as you can. Nice, small, even cubes. So you want some white anchovies. Go five fillets. I'm just going to chop them up again, nice and fine. You're going to want one tablespoon of capers as well. Just chop through them. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. So we're gonna get one bunch of parsley, some mint, and some basil. Very rustic, doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so microplan again and one lemon rind and one lemon juice. Just give them a roll, get the juices flowing. Straight in half. Squeeze it through your hand so there ain't no pits. 150 mils of olive oil. Simple as starting to mix it now. All right, so that's basically it. Now we're ready to plate up. We're gonna serve it with a beef carpaccio. If you wanna learn how to do the carpaccio, just click the link. A bit of salsa verde straight in the center. A few cherry tomatoes, pine nuts, palms and cheese. Just a tiny bit of olive oil to finish and that's it. What I love about it, I love how simple it is. I love how so many simple things can be so awesome. I mean that's what Italian food's all about. Yeah, appreciating the ingredients, simple food done properly. <laughs> so here we are, another Bondi episode uh, of Bondi Harvest. We'll start again with that one. Get out of here! <laughs>